basic properties and uses of Opacity widget. Here's a basic color application. While I remove all the unnecessary lines, let's take this time to understand what a Opacity widget is, and what does it do. Opacity widget is basically a widget that apply opacity to any object that is a widget. Unlike any other widget, it does not have many properties or uses. So, we'll try it out with different widget. In this case, I will try it out with column, text, container, floating action button, and app bar, and see if it work with all of them. To apply opacity to a certain widget, just simply wrap the widget with an opacity widget. Now we have only one required property of opacity widget, that is opacity. It accepts a double, however, the double value should always be between 0.0 to 1.0. It describes how opaque a widget is. Default value is always 1.0, which is 100% opaque. Since text is an object of type widget, opacity seems to work fine as you see in the simulator. Opacity on container seems to be working fine as well. On widgets like column or O, or any multi-child widget, opacity applies to all the children of its child. In this case its column is the child, and as children's are container and text, the value of opacity applies equally to all of them as you see in the simulator. As you see, floating action button is also an object of type widget, it should work fine with it. As I said in the beginning, the value ranges from 0.0 to 1.0. If it's higher than that, you should receive an error. Everything in Flutter is a widget, we all know that, so app bar should be a widget too, so let's see if it works on it. We seem to getting an error, showing, opacity can't be assigned to a preferred sized widget. The error is simple, opacity only accepts your object of type widget. App bar may be a widget but, it's also a specific type of widget, that is preferred sized widget. So before applying opacity to a widget, check its object type. That's all for basic uses and properties of an opacity widget. As always, thank you all for watching my videos and your support. If you're new here and if my videos are helpful to you, please subscribe the channel and leave a like to the video. I will be coming with more Flutter widgets.